guys we're here right now at a secret location i'm not giving no no information now because it's a secret spot that i don't want to tell nobody about because i don't want to get hot over here so basically what we're doing today is i'm going to activate the launch control in my car i'm going to try it out because i have not never once used launch control in my car i've tried before but i never did it the right way and now i finally know how to do it because i watched the video on it today so i figured why not make a video about it and try it out so we got the whip right here as you can see and um yeah, we're about to try a launch control and see how it turns out. But guys, be on the lookout. My car is getting wrapped on April 11th. We only have a few more days before I bring it in. So be ready for that video. No mods is wrapping the car. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, here it is. One of the last looks at it, Gray. You'll probably see it again before, obviously, because I have to film still, you know. But that's what we got for you guys. The only thing that I'm worried about when we're wrapping the car is the freaking... When somebody tried to break into my car, they dented it. So I don't know how it's gonna look with the wrap, but hopefully they can make something happen with that. Other than that, you wanna win a post notification shout like the person that's on the screen right here. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to the subscribe button, put in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys turn on your post notifications. You can win a post notification shout like the person that was just on the screen. But we're about to jump into this video right now. And um, yeah, things are about to get real crazy. But let's get let's get some 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 revs on camera because I never really get any. I never I don't think I ever did a video of me revving the actual car, so let's get a few revs. Don't worry about that too. Tomorrow I actually have a throttle body coming for this car and then I want to get a tune and get some crazy pops going because I want this car to, to shoot flames or something. I, want, I just want it to pop crazy. So we'll have that done soon as well. And yeah, uh, uh, there, there's so much stuff coming for this car, guys. Just be ready because things are about to get crazy. I'm literally about to turn this thing into a Hellcat. I'm not lying. I'm going to get this thing up to high 600s, hopefully. But I want to get it to at least 600 horses. And we're at like 485, 490 right now. So I think we can pull it off. With a few little modifications, intake manifold, stuff like that, I think we can make it happen. Also, I am going to buy that wide body kit. I don't care. It's not too expensive, so I'm going to make sure I get that kit for you guys. But, yeah, let's jump into this. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do launch control right now. What the hell is that noise? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. All right, but I'm going to show you guys how to do launch control right now. So, basically, what you're going to want to do is, if you have a scat pack, you'll have a super track pack mode. You just click that, literally. Or you, if you don't have that, you click performance control right there. You'd click that. It loads straight up launch control. You can also mess with your drive settings here. But I'm putting it on sports mode because I want to do it in sports mode. But all right, so you'd set your RPMs to whatever you want. I'm definitely not doing it that high. We'll do it at 1500 to start because I've never done launch control in this car. So this is literally the first time that I'm launching this car right now. So we have it set at 1500 RPMs. You literally click activate launch control. And then vehicle must be in drive. Put the car in drive. It says to launch press brake and quickly apply full throttle. So you have to press the brake all the way down and then you click the throttle and it'll like push you back. So we're gonna do that right now. Of course my car does a damn burnout. There it goes, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God. Holy crap. All right, it took us a little while to actually start moving there, to be honest. It took longer than I thought it did for us to start moving. We were spinning for a while. Let's see if I get one more in, because now my tires are probably a little bit warmer. But hold on, let's see. I want to see the zero to 60 time. For the zero to 60, we did... I know it's got to be... Wait, 4.4. That's actually, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. It says last, that's 4.4. Oh, man, now we're, now we're going too slow. All right, so I was going to up the RPMs a little bit. But I honestly don't know if that's even a good idea because we're already sliding and the RPMs aren't even high. It's at 1500. But I think it's because a little bit because of the rain. But it's basically stopped raining, so I don't know. Let's do one more though, see if we can get a better one. We'll probably do like one or two more. I'm thinking two because I want to do more than one. But let's see. 
line up right here. Activate launch control and then we hit it. So literally activate. Launch, can, launch mode activated. Put your foot on the brake. Full throttle. This one was way better. That one was way better. Way better. 4.3. There we go. We got one second better. I'll take it. 4.4 to 4.3. The only problem with this road is, I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but there's like little bumps in the road. So it kind of makes it a little bit harder. But that one wasn't bad, actually. I'll, I'll take 4.3. Let's get, let's do one more. Let's do one more and see if we can get a little bit of a better score, actually. I feel like we could. Oh, yeah. You know, drift game strong. That big ass plane. All right, let's try and get this last one in real quick. Let it up. I think I'll move over this way a little bit. It looks like the road's flatter, like, on this side, so. Let's go up a little bit in the RPMs, though. Let's do let's do 2,000. Let's do 2,000. See how that goes. We're probably going to slide a little bit more, but it's all right. Foot on the brake. Full throttle. And there we go. Oh, yeah, we slide in OD. Sliding like crazy. Point three again i'll take it that's not bad for this car i don't know what the actual thing is for this car but 4.3 isn't bad okay i was not supposed to do that this is this is what happens i have a bad habit i have a bad habit this is why i have no tires Come on, man. Look at all the smoke. I have a bad habit. I need to stop. This is this, my tires are going to be gone. I need to chill out, man. My tires are still there right now, but come on. That's a horrible habit. I really need to stop doing that. And this car is so freaking nice. I love this car. Look at all the bugs on the freaking front of the car. That's all bugs. God damn. But yeah, guys. So that was the launch control. Comment below what you guys think. I feel like we launched pretty decent on the second one, but let me check the actual, what's like the the launch time for this car? That's my question. So Dodge Challenger, zero to 60. Let's see. So zero to 60 is 4.2 seconds. So I got 4.3. So that's actually not bad. If, if the best time you can do is 4.2 and I did 4.3, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. But, Let's head out of the spot because it's probably super hot right now. This is usually where I do my burnouts and stuff. This is where I have so many tire marks. But I really need to chill out. Like this is this this is a brand new like freaking like pavement. So when you do burnouts, it rips your tires. It eats the crap out of your tires. So I need to chill out with that. But yeah, let's get this a little. Ooh. Oh, you couldn't even see the time. I mean the speed. Oh, I missed a turn. That's just me. But yeah, guys. We are out of here now. And I hope you guys did enjoy. I love you guys. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Smash the crap out of the like button if you did enjoy. That's it for today.